to compression issues here on the Interstellar Space Chili Cook-Off, or whatever we're calling it these days, I find myself forced to slam together Famicom Friday and Strange Anime License Friday, which frankly isn't all that strange given the nature of branding and licensing and the strange boxes we get from our good friend Felicity in Worcestershire. For all the games she sends us might be the UK's entire space program. Today in the delightful sounding FDS, we've got Michael English Daiboken, because apparently if you're going to have an edutainment game about learning the English language, you can just forget about possessives. It's based on the world sunderingly popular What's Michael Cat Antics franchise, which you've probably never heard of. The gist of it is, this cat spells things. Because it's edutainment to the core, Michael English Daiboken focuses myopically on making this cat platform around one screen, catching letters in order to spell out a word. But it's a word in English! With a picture! See? Edutainment! Collect a wrong letter and not only are you penalized, but a weird disembodied head flies at you which you have to dodge. Problem is, even for such a ridiculous premise, the controls are actually good. The platforming is solid, even if you're just bouncing around a very small space, tricking off a box with a word in it, and collecting letters. The design of the whole thing is decent and colorful, lacking the massive empty spaces of, say, Koneko Monogatari. There are clever little mechanical quirks, like touching the non-threatening disembodied head in the top right to display the katakana for the word in question. And then it takes everything you've learned and turns it into a side-scrolling shoot-'em-up. Yes, really, all of those compasses and bananas and cubes and money that you've just learned about is flying at you, and you're just a cat with a completely inexplicable energy weapon and some means of self-propulsion and stable flight that, frankly, baffles me. Run into the correct objects, as indicated by the ever-changing English word at the top of the screen, and you get points. Run into incorrect objects, and you lose health. It's strange and absurd, but that's kind of the baseline for edutainment games. Donkey Kong Jr. math, nuff said. More shocking is the fact that this thing isn't terrible. It's not going to be making any top 10 lists anytime soon, but it's competently designed. And there's a good bit of material here too, with five stages in each of three difficulty levels, designed for constant practice. And by constant practice, I mean score attack. Normally, you could reasonably expect to be disappointed by a game with a cartoon cat trying to teach you a foreign language, but amazingly enough, Michael English Daiboken is pretty darn tolerable. Kind of repetitive, but it gets the job done. Funny thing about language learning materials, sometimes they can work two ways. So even if you don't need some bouncing cat to help you English, you could still Japan by cat bouncing in pictures. Because apparently vocabulary is all that matters. Vocabulary and a decent varied soundtrack and cats shooting energy pellets and collecting compasses. 